The bullets were blank, but the tension was real, heightened by the sound of the bullets so loud we actually had to wear these earplugs. This is the end of the active shooter training in the back of the school district headquarters in Fort Pierce. What you did not see was that deputy is embedded back here with those young adults. He does not know where the uh, firing is coming from. Having the gunshots go off so close and so loud was definitely a little bit startling. Um, even though you know, you know you're in a training exercise. The drill on Monday isn't a first for 17 year old Tim Rossman. He's part of a community emergency response team at a high school that works with the sheriff's office in St. Lucie County, where they've been training deputies in active shooter scenarios for nearly two decades. It becomes a little bit more important after what we saw in Parkland, especially the response that we saw in Parkland. This is a rifle. In Parkland, the shooter used a semi-automatic style AR-15 to kill 17 people at Stoneman Douglas High School. It definitely does make uh, what we're doing be more than just training. It, it's got really real life um, applications behind it. The sheriff says there are now 38 school resource officers in St. Lucie County, at least one per school, at some places two that go through training like this. Uh, their mission is to direct themselves toward the shooting, identify the shooter, and then neutralize the shooter. Deputies do training like this once a year, and the school district does its own code red training twice a year. In Fort Pierce, Whitney Burbank, WPBF 25 News.